they help me grow and sort of help seek my own independence as, as opposed to continually relying on other things that I should have truly been doing on my own. Thank you so much, Ryan. Samantha? Yes. So I feel like this is a really good question, Peggy, and I feel like it's a very difficult question because, yeah, it's a very difficult question. I feel like a lot of families struggle with this, and um, I did. I had a lot of support, as as you may know. I had a lot of support from my family, but I actually didn't really recover until I, I, I until I put it on me, and um, and that to me, that and. And, you know, my, everybody took me out, parents took me places, super supportive. Um, in the beginning, I also, I refused to talk to anyone else with a mental illness, so I refused any kind of assistance in that way. But, um, but I, I, I feel like in some ways it's going to have to, it may, it may have to be a self-realization. And um, I think that's one of the most difficult things because, um, I know for me, you feel responsible, especially if it's a family member, you feel responsible for someone. And I feel that all the time and I struggle with it and it's the same with boundaries. And it, it, I, it's a very hard question to answer and I would love to talk more about it with you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think, uh, yeah. I, I think that's a great answer. I think both of you gave really good answers on that. One other thing that I think too I can add is sometimes the pressure we put on ourselves as caregivers is pretty heavy. We make that, um, we put expectations on ourselves as caregivers that we're supposed to have all the answers. We're supposed to make everything better for them. And um, I remember one thing I learned from my son was to stop talking. And I always thought, you know, I was always raised that Talking's a good thing. Let's let's get it out. And he came to me once and he said, "We need to just have fun too." And I forgot that. So I forgot everything became about what was going on, and forgot to just have those relationship pieces back. And I think that that took me a long time to learn because I was always checking in. Like, "Are you okay? What do you need? What can I help with?" Blah blah blah. And I was just like, "Can we just watch a movie?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, we can." Right, so I forgot those pieces. And I think um, it took him literally saying, you need to stop talking about it all the time. And knowing that the door, but I left that door open and he knew that door was open for when he was ready to have that conversation. And that's a hard thing I think for caregivers to do. Probably one of the hardest things I had to do. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much, Jill. Um, I think that's uh, that's a really, good place to end 